Alright, hey YouTube, this is John, and uh, welcome to the 16th HTML editing and programming tutorial. Alright, so today we're doing the head or header element. Uh, basically, the head element, uh, it contains general information. Uh, it's also called a meta information uh, about your uh, web page or document. But And what meta means is basically just information about, so it's about the web page or document or whatever you're using the head for. And alright. The elements inside the head element should not be displayed by a browser, but it can be, but it shouldn't be usually. So according to the HTML standard, there are only a few tags that are used inside the head section. Uh, so and there are base, link, meta, title, and style, and script. But uh, here's the, I'm going to show you a basic uh, construct of a head tag that's not that's not uh, used and it's used improperly so we're going to do your tag and then head and then space down uh, P uh, this is not right and then slash P uh, slash oh, slash head alright so this is a basic structure that's not right so uh, I'm gonna Save this, and I'm just going to save it as head in a second. Head dot HTML save, and then preview and browser F11. Uh, and all right, here's what it looks like right here. This is what it basically looks like. It's just going to say this is not right, but the oh, sorry, hold on, I forgot to put the P there so. Hit F11 again, and yeah, this is what it says. This is not right, but um, this is uh, what they call an illegal one. So you can't really do that. You can't put a paragraph inside of uh, inside of it. So this is what it's really. It's an illegal construct of <clears throat> what it, of a header of a head tag. Uh, so uh, in the illegal con construct. The browser has two options: display the text because it's inside a paragraph element, which we did. Uh, this is paragraph element right there, and or hide the text because it's inside the head element. If you put the HTML uh, HTML element like the tag H1 or P inside the head element, uh, like <coughs> like uh, excuse me, like this right here. So if I do like H1 and then uh, beef and then a uh, h1 okay well, there we go it'll display it anyway so it's at f11 and I don't really want that hold on guys alright here we go so f11 crap sorry I didn't hit uh, this right so f11 alright so this is basically what it will do it'll just show beef and it will show this is not right even though it's a, it's an illegal construct, it will still show it, but it should not be used inside it. So uh, uh, most browsers will display it though, but some of them will not. It'll show all the tags in it. And also, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna tell you guys what tags are what. So I'm just gonna show you guys what. Uh, no, just tell you guys what tags mean what. All right. So the head tag, which we have right here. Uh, defines information about your document, which we already discussed. And title, which we discussed in an earlier tutorial near the beginning, was it defines the document title. Uh, and another one that we never discussed was base. Uh, what base does, it defines a base URL for all the links on a page. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like base. Well, let me take caps off base. That's your basic base tag. And then you just put a uh, URL. You put a URL in here. I just put URL so you know what to put in there. And what a URL is a uniform uh, resource locator. So if you didn't know what that was, you just learned something new today. So in your base, you put uh, the uh, base URL for all the links on on your entire web page. And okay, and then link, which is right here, link and link. What link does is defines a resource reference. Um, basically, it tells you. It'll if you have a uh, reference that you got something from a different website, like if you went to uh, YouTube and you got some information off of YouTube, so and uh, 
it's not yours. It, so it just tells you your resource reference. So it uh, just basically hey, you just put the link in there. So your so you have your reference in the uh, <coughs> in from with the information which you got it from. So if you type something like YouTube is awesome and you got that from a video or something, you have to take the U the URL of the video and put it in between the link right here so you, you can tell where you got your uh, words from and, and it just basically tells you it's your reference. And our, and our next to last we have Meta which we discussed already before so Meta not meat. Uh, meta what it, like I said it just defines meta information we discussed meta in uh, the meta tags tutorial I think it was 15 or 14 tutorial for, 14 or 15 uh, it basically what meta is is um well I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna really go over it again but uh just go watch the meta tags tutorial and it'll tell you what the meta tags do and okay so we got one more so we got then we put exclamation point doc type whoop type and end it what this does it defines the document type uh you, this usually goes before your HTML so I'm gonna copy that and then just insert it up here what well, it just goes before your HTML HTML tag your start tag but you don't need it after the ending tag you just need it before the HTML beginning tag what it does is uh, it just tells you it just defines your document type that you're using within your HTML so that's it for this tutorial um the next tutorial will be my last HTML tutorial it will be going over URLs uh, very thoroughly uh, so URLs of the last tutorial, and hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know this one was a bit boring, but uh, this is it. Just I just told you what uh, head what the head tags and uh, what basically go into head tags, and what illegal and legal constructs are within the head tags. So, all right, guys. Uh, this has been this is John, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my tutorial videos of HTML. Remember, my next one is my final HTML tutorial. It'll be number 17 uh, for URLs. And uh, it'll have a little summary at the end of what we went through. So, uh, or I might not. I don't want. I don't want to get too long because URLs will take up a lot of time. So, uh, but that's this will be. This is the next to last tutorial I'm be doing, and then I'm gonna start JavaScript and probably X, XML and uh, more stuff like that. Maybe PHP as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and. Uh, Subscribe to my channel if you're not, and I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day.